What's up everybody and welcome back on my channel. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, my name is Bukola and I film about skincare and a bunch of every other stuff. And in today's video, I want to show you guys my three-step retinoid night routine. Even though my retinol is not as strong as other people's retinol, but I still want to tell you that sometimes less could be more and you don't have to have so much in order for you to actually have a very strong routine. Like I always say, consistency is the key. And for those people who have asked me how I use this retinol soap that I've always talked about on my channel, here I am to answer you. But I just have to put a disclaimer out that I always use it at night and not in the morning. But because I want to film this video and if I just wait till night, the lighting is going to be poor i'm going to demonstrate to you how i use my retinoid soap you guys might have seen it on my channel this particular one how i use it i've cut the parts you guys so um the one i cut this is the one i cut from here you guys can see so i will always advise you as well if you buy this retinoid soap don't just open everything and be putting it inside water and putting it on your face you're wasting your money this can actually last you for like four months guys this is even four months ago, gone is small. This is the one I've been using for like a month. And you can still see what is on my hand. Like it's still very, very big. I'm still sure this is going to last me for the whole of December. I am very, very sure. So I'm going to just show you guys how I use it. First, I'm going to go wet my face because I always wet my face. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face is now wet. So all you have to do is, I put the soap inside water as well. All I have to do is start rubbing into my skin at night though. Uh -huh. at night though especially, especially if you have a sensitive skin at night though mm -hmm. so i rub the soap itself on my face you can put the soap on your palm and start rubbing it which i'm still going to do but this is the honest way that i use my soap on my face once i have enough soap put on my face you guys can see that's why i always advise you to cut because you are going to waste so much if you do not cut the soap so i rub the rest of my hand like this and I just take my hand that has the soap and then I start massaging into my skin. You guys, it's very, very simple. This was the reason why I didn't do a demonstration because I thought you guys actually got it. I don't know if some people actually want me to do the video. So when I say max the soap on your face, this is what I'm talking about, okay? Take your time to always rub your, your soap on your face. Take your time. No way they rush. Go. Take your time. You want to do your nighttime routine and you actually want your product to work i always advise you to do it an hour before you go to bed reason is because if you do it the moment you want to go to bed you will rub all the products you apply on your face on your pillow it's just like a waste of product and you're not going to see results like that since you've wasted the product so i always say one hour before once i know i'm close to being done editing my video i'm going to put the soup on my face so yeah you guys can tell the it's on my face and now it's disappearing okay so i'm going to leave it for like two minutes and then wash it off and come back and come and eat it with you i want to say that um if you know that you use the anti-pimple soap as well always do it like this if you want a very good result like this is the way that you can do it to have a very good result don't just wash it on your face and leave it and go like that take your time to massage your soap into your skin okay always take your time to make sure you're getting rid of those dirty things on the surface of your skin so that so that when you get rid of it any other product you apply on your skin is going to enter into your skin well so i'm just going to go wash this and then come back and then we can apply other products. so guys this is my face after washing i don't know if you guys can see there's still water on my face this is so i always use i got this particular tool i don't know like looking at it you guys can tell that this thing is so soft right this towel is actually very very soft and i got to notice that people use it in the in the kitchen so much but this thing is soft i had to get one for my face i am big on using tissue paper but don't use your body towel on your face i got to know that it's not good as well i don't even mistakenly use it on my face i just don't use it on my face again so i got this one because it's so soft like guys it is so freaking soft so all you have to do is because of the product i want to apply on my face i need to dry this water down a little okay but not like i'll just write down a little 
my face is still wet but not dripping that is when i'm going to go in with my hyaluronic essence review this hyaluronic essence on this channel the dr rachel hyaluronic essence on this channel if you have not watched that video go watch it this is it you guys can tell that i've been using it you can see i use it every single day since i showed you guys i don't think a day has passed that i don't even use it every single day so this is what i'm going to apply on my face now After applying my hyaluronic acid on my face, I then go in with my moisturizer but I'm going to wait for it to kind of like sink into my skin a little bit before I apply my moisturizer. And guys, on some nights, because of the fact that like I said earlier, it is a soap, it is not really that strong of a soap, it is not really that strong of a retinoid soap, so it is very very mild and this is why it does not dry out my skin. I have used the anti-pimple soap before and I can tell you guys that the anti-pimple soap dries out my skin way more than this. This does not even dry out my skin. Like, I don't feel that dryness on my skin. If I wash my face with this soap and I did not apply anything, in the next few minutes, you guys are going to see oils like at my T-zone because I have combination skin. You guys are going to see oil at my T-zone. So yes, because of my own skin type, this does not dry out my skin, okay? In fact, it does not dry out my skin as much as Dudu also dries out my skin. That is how amazing this soap is. So on some nights when I notice that I have acne, I can still go on and use my azelaic acid on my face. I'm not going to be using this in this video because there's no need for me to use it. I'm still going to use it at night. Let me just show you guys that if I want to use this azelaic acid after my hyaluronic acid essence on my face is when I'm going to use this particular one on my face. That is the reason why I use hyaluronic acid and my moisturizer. So in this video, I am not applying my azelaic acid, but if you want to apply it, this is the point where you have to apply it. If you have good molecules discolorating serum as well, this is a point where you can now apply that serum on your face for the best glow ever on your face. But because I'm not doing all that, I'm just going to go in with my moisturizer. So this is the point where I am going to apply my moisturizer. So guys, that is all I do when I use my retinoid. If it has to be three step, if I have to put in some treatments in between, that was what I explained earlier. This is all that I do. It's very, very simple. Consistency is what is going to give you the result. Using it for one night is not going to give you the results that you want. This is like 10 a.m. I'm still going to go in with my sunscreen and that's going to be the last step for me. But at night, you do not need to use a sunscreen at night. It can actually serve as a permanent face routine for you at night. But this is my standard three-step routine when I don't want much on my face. Like when I don't want so much thing on my face. On, on days where my skin is going through a lot, that's when I can now input the serum or the azelaic acid. Those of you who have questions, I hope this video is detailed as detailed as if people want it because of all these questions please if you have any other question let me know in the comment section i know those questions will not require me to demonstrate again i'm just going to answer you in the comment section thank you guys so much for being part of my video if you have not subscribed please do me a favor and smash the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on as well and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye